I'm going to show you how a real Hufflepuff would play Hogwarts Legacy. Now I know what you're thinking, a Hufflepuff challenge run? What, are you going to finish your homework before bed and always get to class on time? Yes, yes I am going to do those things, I'm a Hufflepuff. We're known for our work ethic and only slackers show up late to class with incomplete homework, that's just a fact. But more importantly, Hufflepuffs are known for their affinity for herbology, and we're going to weaponize herbology to slay any enemy without casting a single spell. Our story begins in the classroom, and what started as a simple lesson would become the origin story for the most incredible herbomancer the world had ever seen. So I just finished the prologue and a couple classes that don't matter because they aren't herbology class, and Professor Garlic asked me to pick the Chinese chomping cabbages, and said that I could try them out on the practice dummy, so let's give it a go. Okay, okay, we can throw three out at this, look at them go, look at them biting through that. I know it's just a practice dummy, but can you imagine if we use those on a real enemy? Trust me, Leander, I was imagining it the entire time. These cabbages are a ferocious weapon, and there's two more combat plants I can use, but I don't have anywhere to plant a garden, and I can't even afford the seeds. So we'll just have to play through the game like a regular, boring wizard. I did have enough cabbages to try out on some real enemies who thoroughly enjoyed themselves. With no more cabbages, I desperately needed somewhere to plant my garden, and there it was. The Room of Requirement, which only appears when a person is in great need of it. The Room of Requirement can accommodate up to seven potting stations, but I only have the ability to conjure a station with a single small pot, so my first harvest would have to be mandrakes. After harvesting my first mandrakes, I took them to a bandit camp to try them out, and it's obvious that they're going to pair perfectly with our cabbages because they disable enemies and break through their shields, which the cabbages couldn't do. What I need to do now is upgrade my potting tables, so I'm off to Hogsmeade to learn to conjure better potting stations. Oh, that's a lot more expensive than I was expecting. Oh man, so to get everything I'll need, it's going to cost 8,500 galleons for the potting stations, another 1,650 for the seeds, and I also need to get fertilizer, so the dung composters are going to cost me another 1,000 galleons. As of right now, I don't have any reliable way to make money, so I guess it's time for me to get a job! The World Authority on Magical Creatures, Newt Scamander, was a Hufflepuff, and a lot of Hufflepuffs love animals deeply, including me. Which is why when I was offered an opportunity to get paid to save animals from poachers, I was thrilled. This is exactly the opportunity I was looking for, and I'm going to completely push past any moral considerations I have about how technically I'm the poacher now. Poaching, I mean rescuing animals, is hard work. Some animals are easy to catch, but others, like Thestrals, are quite difficult. Thankfully, as a Hufflepuff, I've never let a little hard work get in my way, and as a side bonus, the Room of Requirement created a vivarium for me so I could relocate some of my creatures there, and it's actually stunning. It looks so good, and I absolutely love being able to come here and hang out with my animals. The animals that I couldn't put into my vivarium I sold to the Brood and Peck, whose owner has promised to find a good home for any animals I sell her. Because of this, I was able to make quite a lot of money and basically had a steady income until I finally managed to get enough money to buy everything I needed for the Room of Requirement and for my garden. Now that I have all the potting stations, I did a full redesign of the Room of Requirement, which now has four large pots, 12 medium pots, and five small pots. It also has three dung composters making fertilizer for me, which I can use to double the yield of my plants. With an unlimited supply of plants secured, I want to bring my fight to the top and take out the largest poachers and bandits in the area. But the truth is that I'm simply not strong enough yet. Having a bunch of plants doesn't make you a powerful herbomancer, it just makes you an herbomancer. I need to enhance my gear and talents to support my plants in combat which means I need to raid some of the smaller, weaker bandit camps. Each bandit camp has a chest in it that gives me a trait that I can use to enhance my armor. But the trait you receive is random, which means I'm going to need to wipe out a bunch of bandit camps until I find what I'm looking for. Oh, Venom 3! That's not exactly what I'm looking for, but that's definitely headed in the right direction. What I really want to find is I want to find Herbology 3, because that buffs the damage of all plants, not just a specific one. No, it's Herbology 2 instead of 3. Come on, nope. Okay, let's go. Not. <laughs> it's gotta be in there. It's not. Please, please, please. Yes! 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 Finally! Yes! Holy 
filch! I finally got it! Yes! Okay, so we're going to come over to the loom, and all we need to do is enhance all of our pieces of gear with Herbology 3. All six of the pieces of gear I'm wearing are now enhanced with Herbology 3, and we're going to go into our talents and take the talents that make it so that we summon two cabbages instead of one. Our mandrakes are going to do more damage and incapacitate for longer, and our venomous tentacula are going to do more damage and they can break shields. This is the moment I've been waiting for. My love of magical creatures, my affinity for herbology, my endless pool of patience, and my rigorous work ethic were all grown to perfection by the House of Hufflepuff. And today, a Hufflepuff is going to eradicate the poachers that plague this land. Their cries for help will be drowned out by the scream of my Mandrake army. Their attempts to fight back will leave them covered in venomous tentacula's acid. As they turn to flee, my legions of Chinese chomping cabbages will be biting at their heels, or probably more likely their torsos. I'm not going to waste any time. I went and I found the strongest enemy I could to test my army on. I'm level 22, and Sylvanas Selwyn is a bandit who's level 37. I haven't even tried the plants out yet, but I'm going to try them out on the hardest boss I can find. Hopefully, I am not about to get absolutely massacred. Alright, here it is. We're just gonna go up and we're gonna throw the venomous tentaculas first. Okay, and then we're gonna throw out the Chinese chomping cabbages, and we're gonna get ready to do a mandrake up real close and... <laughs> He's already dead! He died before I even pulled the mandrake out of my pot! And that guy died over there! What was- Oh, here comes somebody else! Oh no... Uh -huh. And their cabbages got him! You can't fight back! There's cabbages biting at your heels! That's a torso shot! Okay, cover your ears, it'll help, I promise! <laughs> oh man, this is amazing! They died, he died before I could even turn around and watch it happen. Torso ripped to pieces. Oh, no more shield. Look, they're just running circles around her and she's dead. Maybe wizards just aren't strong enough to handle plants. So we're going to try them out on the Quagmire Troll, who's said to be an especially mean forest troll and he can't handle the mandrake scream. So the fight's pretty much over by default, but we'll throw out all the cabbages and we'll go ahead and get the venomous tentaculas into the fight. He, I mean, he definitely survived longer than Selwyn, but he can't do anything. He can't fight back at all, and they're just ripping- and he's dead. They just ripped him to pieces. You really might want to click out of the video slightly before the end, because Barrow's name reveal is truly awful. See you next time! You're still here. You might regret it. Did you ever wonder why I named my character Barrow Hemlock? Hemlock is obvious, but what about Barrow? Here's a few jokes Barrow loves telling at parties. I used to own a wheelbarrow full of four-leaf clovers, but then I realized I shouldn't push my luck. I bought a nice wheelbarrow for when push comes to shovel. Did you hear about the guy that got killed by a wheelbarrow? Apparently he was living on barrowed time.